we are thankful for UNC. You guys have been such a blessing. And we would encourage anyone else who is struggling and wondering if their child who's hearing impaired could ever communicate and have a conversation and read books. That's all possible. Um, you just need a good foundation and you need good people to kind of walk with you along the way. I don't think we could have done it without the program and the support and the family that you make and the other parents that you meet. You feel at home. And I think that makes a difference in the therapy in the long run. It's you feel like you belong somewhere. Thank God that we have UNC and North Carolina. And thank God we have Copeers because without them, I don't know what I would be doing right now. If I had not had cochlear implants, I would have had to use sign language and not many people in the world know sign language, so I probably wouldn't be able to communicate with other people. Hands down, you have to put in the time and the therapy. And, but I would definitely recommend it because without it, she wouldn't have been able to speak as well as she is today. I wish that I could have had a video to show us what she was going to be like when she was seven, the way that she talks and plays and laughs and sings, because we just we didn't know what was possible. These amazing programs, it helped me experience what it's like with these, and I thank the UNC program for helping me. It's taken years to create what this place is, and you all do amazing things. You know, you change people's lives every day, and there's not a whole lot of people that can say that. Hi, we're the Keel family. I'm Katherine Keel. I'm Brendan. And this is Hudson. We are here to talk today about our son. He was born into the NICU with a lot of health issues. Much to our surprise, Hudson was diagnosed profound to severe hearing loss. We thought he could hear. We had music playing next to him in the NICU. We thought the whole thing must have been a mistake. We were sitting at UNC after they did the under anesthesia hearing test. They just point blank said, if we do not implant him, then he will never hear you say his name or I love you. That was a defining moment for me as a parent and as a mom. I cried, I kind of let it all out, and then after that I was like, okay, let's get going and let's implant him and do what we need to do in order to see if he has the chance to hear. His internal ear anatomy was pretty different. He had cochlear nerve deficiency where on either side he didn't even have the nerves that would be required for a cochlear implant to be successful. UNC was meeting and discussing and based on some things that they saw they made the decision that they'd give Hudson a shot at a cochlear implant on one side. We came to his activation day which was on his first birthday. They connected the lead to his cochlear implant for the first time and started playing some beeps. And we noticed him look up and start yeah. to look around a little bit. And for us, that was our first clue that something might be successful here. Catherine said hi to him and he smiled a little bit. He could actually hear people saying words, not just hearing loud sounds. That's what led us into us working closely with the children's cochlear implant center at UNC. There is a lot of testing, booth tests, therapy, all these things that you go through. The Children's Cochlear Implant Center at UNC helped us through all of that. Hannah was our therapist and almost felt like an extension of our family. Hannah came to our preschool, yeah, that's right. sat down with his teachers, mm -hmm. reviewed the environment, educated them on Hudson and, and how to best you know participate in, mm -hmm. in his therapy. And I mean, that just felt above and beyond as far as we were concerned. Now Hudson is almost five years old and he is in a regular five day a week preschool with a bunch of kids that don't have cochlear implants and he is speaking and understanding language <laughs> at an age appropriate level. Uh, pot. No way. No way, no way, look at you go. We were lucky enough to be sent somewhere that was innovative and on the cutting edge of what's possible in helping kids with profound hearing loss to hear. Hudson's very unique. He's the only person that they have seen with cochlear nerve deficiency that can hear and, and talk at age appropriate levels. We celebrate the fact that he's just a normal kid and very thankful to the Children's Cochlear Implant Center at UNC for this amazing gift. When I think about the 
mission of our program to maximize hearing access for children so that they can really reach their communication potential. It's really a privilege to see that happen day in and day out. We're not a huge program in a ritzy place, but we're able to really do great things with the support that we have from the state and the university and various private donors that support us to be able to make sure that no child here is turned away for their ability to pay. I've gotten to work with quite a variety of families each family, each kid really has a special place in my heart and I'm lucky to have been part of their journey.